Okay, be before we go into the mesh, we continue to the mesh menu. Uh, I want to explain in this setting. Going to the this setting and mesh checking. If you tick that, as you can see, it's active and you can <coughs> recognize the mesh problem or states. We begin from a sphere and give an example with this sphere. <coughs> and also you can access this menu in a mode and in modeling here you can see the snap quantize and mesh in the mode and you can go to the object again in a sphere we increase the segment and of course make it editable to change it to the mesh the first color that you see this color is here if you go into the sitting the mesh checking as you can see, it's better I bring it here to understand better in modeling. <coughs> and here, you can active or deactivate. This color is a complex pole. The complex pole, it's uh, uh, the edge count. It means if, uh, for example, the more than six edges connect to the one point, call it complex pole. As you can see, we have a lot of uh edge to connect to the this point here it's the col color code is not important you can assign any color that you want here this is the first thing is a com uh, <coughs> complex pole the isolate point for example if you go into the uh, surface mode and click and drag and delete some points here as you can see we have some deleted some point here but if you go into the point, as you can see, we have no point here. Or, of course, they delete the points. Uh, if uh, some points are isolated from this uh, object, it will be shown as a isolate point there. Uh, sorry, the modeling. I lock it to don't we really go this from this page. This is the color. If the if we have a pointer that we cannot see them, you can uh, see it as a this color <clears throat> as an isolated point. Another color we can see here, and this color is the border edge, boundary edge. As you can see, this is a boundary edge that you can see. Uh, edge point. Uh, I will be explaining this mesh tool that is in an add. You can create a point. If you add a point here, as you can see, this is an edge point because it causes an end gun to our model. As you can see, we have an end gun here. We have a regular point that you selected. This color, dark blue, is call edge point and it's that it has a problem you have to delete them okay <clears throat> uh, non-manifold is for example if you go into the point mode oh sorry if good go to the edge mode and we're going to the select mode if you holding control and um, extract this uh, edge as we can see we have a non-manifold edge here the edge that connect more than two surfaces and it, it's a problem okay this is bad modeling like this we cannot use it this edge is a non-manifold <coughs> here you can identify that and the one edge has to be just connected to the two surfaces not more than two this is one two three yes three this is a non-manifold meshes. You have to avoid them. And non-planar uh, polygon. For example, uh, if you insert a polygon here, go into the model mode, the polygon here. If I make it editable, and as you can see, if you go to point mode, if you select it, 
the mesh checking is active if i change as you can see if you have you have a planetary threshold zero if you suddenly little change the this uh, edge here as you can see we have a non planar uh, surface as you can see it's a bat because we don't have any cut edge here you can add a cut here and uh, correct that issues it's very simple you can add a cut line connect this to the this and the problem solved okay and that's it because this is a surface that uh, it has any connected line here and cause non planar if you because the, this is threshold. if you increase this number, for example, in 10 degree or more, if this angle goes uh, more than 20, for example, degree, it will be show you this is a problem of non -planar. If you make it more, and after that degree, it will be show. But it's better zero because we don't want to any have any pla non planar polygon and here you can select them if you want yeah as you can see here shows how many of the problems are here and you can select them by clicking this it's very simple hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release